These two tanks have been doing really well over the past few months, but today it's time to give it an update, refresh it a little bit, and also I want to propagate some of these plants immersed because some of them, even though it looks amazing from a distance, some of them are starting to lose their leaves, they're getting shaded by all the plants growing up above, and there's just not enough nutrients in here. So today we're going to take a look at these two tanks and kind of freshen it up. This plant here, is called Ludwigia spirocarpa and it's got to be one of my favorite plants. It's not a very common plant uh, where I live and it's a very unique looking Ludwigia. You can see those leaves that just shoot outwards and such a nice oval shape. They also have a, a color variation. Sometimes they're green, sometimes they're red. They could be red when they're, they're lacking nutrients I'm not entirely sure um, and another nice thing about this Ludwigia is that it doesn't grow too tall like you can see this height I've never trimmed this plant before and I've had it for close to a year now but you can see over here I used to have a bunch more growing over here but you can see their leaves have dropped off the stem and that's because it's getting too dark over here you can see how overgrown all this rotella is just covering up the surface not letting any light get down so I've got to do something about this today I've got to trim it down and with some of the not so good stems I'm gonna cut that and try to grow them immersed this bunch here is doing much better but this was also in danger a few weeks ago I had a bunch of rotella growing up here and this was also getting shaded so you can see I've trimmed a bunch of my rotella and I just left them floating in this tank uh, but yeah you can see how nice they should be but the stems, they've lost some leaves down there. So that's the main plant I really want to try to grow this year. And a few others as well. And from this tank too. So today I want to work on these two tanks and just try to make them look better. And also get rid of some of the plants I don't want to keep in these tanks. I want to try to minimize the amount of plants I keep here in these two tanks. And just keep the ones that I really enjoy growing and propagating. And those are probably the more, uh, the slightly rarer ones. I don't have, I don't really have like very rare expensive plants in here, but I do have some that are a little bit pricier than the others, like the Spirocarpa and some of the Echinodorus in here. I want to focus on those so today we're cleaning up these two tanks. So I'm gonna begin with this tank here and it looks like there's a bunch of plants in here but there's not that many types uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin removing some of the ones that I don't want to continue growing in this tank but I'd like to try growing immersed so there's a couple of species in here that I want to pull out so I'm gonna go ahead and begin doing that and I'm gonna pull them out and put it in this little tray here. All right, so I've got four different types of plants from this tank over here that I'm going to try to propagate immersed. Uh, now, the next step for me is to clean this tank up a little bit. So I want to keep all these plants uh, remaining in this tank, but I got to trim up some of this rotella because like almost half of this tank is being taken up by this rotella over here and this is probably the fastest growing plant in this tank and it's also one of my favorite types of rotellas it's a rotella rotundifolia fujian depending on the light and nutrients you give uh, it it'll change colors like right now some of the leaves at the bottom are more green in color but as they get to the top closer to where the light is you can see how it turns a nice purplish color and I, I really, really love this plant. So I'm going to keep this. I'm probably going to cut some of this and try to grow this immersed as well since I don't have any immersed of that. Uh, so yeah, now it's just time to organize this tank a little bit. You can see we've also got some crypt pink flamingo in here. That is a really slow growing plant for me. Some people can grow this plant really fast and well. But the good thing is that it is spreading out a little bit right over here this little pink thing that's a leaf so it is sending out a runner and shooting out a new leaf right there which is really cool look what this shrimp is trying to do all right all right time to organize this tank and this plant here is another cool one uh, that I really like icornia <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so we've got both tanks sort of cleaned up, not really the way I want it to be, but two foot tanks, uh, about 15 gallons, 60 liters, is not really a lot of space to play with a bunch of plants. These two tanks are my farm tanks, so when it's time for the next update of this tank, I'll be upgrading the tanks. I've got two three foot tanks that I'd like to place here, and I'll have more space to grow these plants. Um, and there are still there are still a few that I want to take out of these tanks, but not right now because I want to take them out once I get my immersed growing setup going. Uh, I still don't have that set up yet. I'm planning to get that done uh, by the next video, so next week's video should hopefully be of me setting up my immersed system. I don't have plans on it yet, but I've been thinking about how I want an immersed system. The tough thing with growing plants immersed, I've gotten questions about it before, but is the mosquito problem because you have some water above the soil because these plants even though they're growing immersed they need lots of water you can't just have them like a regular house plant because they'll dry up you want lots of water and and then you get the chance of mosquitoes breeding mosquito larvae and it's uh it's not a really good thing to have so i kind of want to build a system where that doesn't happen so i'm thinking of an overflow system where the water can drip out so we don't get too much buildup of water. Maybe I'll have a trickle system so that the water keeps moving around. So I'm currently thinking of that and once I get that going then I can clean these tanks up more. Take out the plants that I don't want to grow in these tanks but I want to keep them immersed. So for example I've got four different types of rotalas in this tank and I don't really need them in here but I do want to keep them growing immersed so I've got to wait for me to build that system out so I can get those into that. That is such a cool looking Ludwig. Yeah, I've already got some trimmings of it uh, over here which you probably saw just now. Not, not very healthy but we gotta start somewhere. So I'm gonna try with this and yeah. This, this, all these plants here, there's quite a bunch, probably about 10 different types of plants in there, but I'm gonna start tomorrow building out my system and hopefully uh, we can get some immersed plants going. Uh, but yeah, look at this tank. This is a plant that I really, really wanna focus on. Echinodorus opacus iguazu. And such a unique looking Echinodorus. Soon, probably this month or the next month, I'll be doing a fish room tour showing you guys all of my tanks. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If you're not yet subscribed, be sure to do so and I'll see you guys next time.